All right, I'm back with another review. I'm bringing you one of the special action figure sets. Um, some of you older collectors may remember when Kenner did this before in the 80s. I would just give a rough estimate that these are somewhat of a prequel to current battle packs. But now they're re-releasing them in original style packaging, exclusively at Target. I've got the Target symbol here. They've got three of these out right now. I'll show them to you on the back. A villain set, a hero set, and a rebel set, all from Hoth. Now normally when I do reviews, I do try to uh, have an unopened version of it and show it to you. And I do have a second version of this, but for the life of me, I couldn't find it. So if you want to see it, refer back to my out and about video at Target. I, I show all three of them together there for you. Um, these three figures are from a variety of different collections. The first one, the center one here, is Princess Leia, a.k.a. Carrie Fisher. She's actually from Wave 1 of the current Vintage Collection. I'm going to read her articulation to you. She's got a ball-jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders. Where she's got a removable vest, which I've never been able to get off. Swivel waist, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hips, ball hinge knees and ankles. She comes with a Blast Tech. D817 blaster pistol. And I just think the uh, detailing on this figure is awesome. A very good likeness of Carrie Fisher. The movie where she finally lost her hair buns, her much hated hair buns. The current lay is they're getting shorter. Uh, Carrie Fisher's never been that tall of an actor, and they are uh, they are kind of catching up with that with the action figures. Comparable to other figures out there, so I'm happy about that. Next figure here is kind of special. He's referred to as a Rebel Commander. However, those of you who have followed me since the Vintage Collection, or maybe you've gotten the Vintage Collection yourself, um, if you can remember, Wave 6 was an Empire Strikes Back wave, and they promised on the back a second Rebel Hoth Trooper, which they never actually delivered in that wave. Right before Christmas of 2010, they did release the Defensive Hoth Battle Pack, as well as three of these packs together in a nine pack. Um, the Defensive Hoth Battle Pack not only had the one with the scarf, but it also had a non-bearded one. And the nine pack had the original figure with a different color beard and hair. So they've actually given us four variants on this figure. You Rebel Army Builders should be happy about that. Here he is. The figure is great. He comes with quite a bit of equipment. He comes with a backpack. Um, a working holster, a rifle, and a pistol, and, whoops, this unique scarf helmet. Can you see that? I'll get, the, I'll get it on in, if you give me a second. Ah. The original scarf helmet one was supposed to come out in Wave 6, but they never, they kind of delayed that, and both of them were target specials. Here you go. There he is. I will read off his articulation for you. All right, his articulation is, he's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders, swivel forearms, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinge knees and ankles. He comes with a backpack, which I just showed you, a blaster pistol and a removable hat helmet slash scarf. The last one here is from Power of the Force 2. It's 2-1-B. I looked him up on Rebel Scum and I could not even find his articulation. He does seem to have a ball hinged neck and swivel uh, swivel shoulders. I can't get his, anything else to articulate on him. I think his legs bend a little bit. He does come with a medical device right here. Put this on the table so you can see it better. I'm not quite sure the, what that device is, but it's something to do with saving poor Luke after he almost freezes to death. Yeah, it is high time they upgrade this figure, although they did make a 2-1-B for the 30th anniversary. That is a prequel one. Um, they've talked about redoing that one, you know, re-sculpting it in some way and making it a uh, an original trilogy one, but I think they're actually going to have to make a second figure. Yeah, this, this figure is like 14 years old. I'm surprised they haven't redone them by now, but they haven't. But anyway, um, these Target packs are going in Alaska for just over $20.00. A friend of mine got me a one I already purchased for my birthday, so that's why I'm showing you this one. Um, and that that actually comes out to about seven bucks a piece. I know the lower 48 stuff's a little bit cheaper. It might be under 20 where you are. So you know, six bucks and change for a figure is not that bad, not that bad at all, especially for the beginner collector. 
And um, as I said, if, you, if you're an old school collector, you know, from the 80s, you remember these, you might want to get these for memorabilia's sake. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. This is Supreme signing out, and as always, thank you for tuning in.